Next, we'll talk about part two in this little discussion, uh, the use of forwarding domain names. Uh, a, an example of a forwarding domain name would be uh, some ones I've set up are uh, ballroomdances.net or railvideos.org. Uh, these are give you an easy way to t type in something to get to a page without typing a big, long, complicated actual domain name. You can forward these domain names to anywhere. They can go to uh, someplace on your own domain. Mine go to spots on track2.com. They could go to someplace on uh, Verizon or Comcast where you've got a personal website. They could go to a Yahoo web page. They could even go to, to YouTube. In the case of, in the play, uh, case of railvideos.org, uh, well, railvideo.org, the singular version, that actually forwards directly to a YouTube video. Then when I make another YouTube video, uh, I can rotate this forwarding domain name, that is to say redirect it to a new location on YouTube. You can get these domain names from uh, many places. The, the most widely used source that I'm, I'm aware of is one called godaddy.com. That's G-O-D-A-D-D-Y dot C-O-M. Uh, they seem to be, from uh, from what I know of this, uh, the largest purveyor, supplier, that is, of inexpensive domain names. They typically cost about $9 a year. That That's for a forwarding domain name. Uh, that when you sign up for a GoDaddy.com domain name, there's a lot of other stuff they want you to 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 buy. But if you go, if you just get the basic domain name, the cost should end up being about nine dollars a year. Uh, and like I say, there's many other services that supply these also. And in fact, that's kind of a caveat I ought to mention in regards to my knowledge. I don't know everything about this this business. I think I maybe know, uh, I may be struggling to say I know 1% of what there is to know out there. Every time you blink your eyes or turn around, you learn there's something new that uh, you had no idea existed. So I'm just passing on a few things that, that I've uh, managed to learn and, and giving, again, giving the uh, caveat that I don't know uh, everything far from it. Um, one pointer with regard to setting up a forwarding domain name, consider getting a separate email address uh, to use for registering this domain name. You do need an email address to register and uh, it, it, it ideally should be separate. The reason I say it should be separate is uh, these domain names are public. You can actually look them up in what, the, what is called the Whois database so spammers can get your email address uh, this way and you can get spam and I've had that happen to me. Uh, they, they have an option, GoDaddy has an option for private domain name registration where you pay more money to have your, your email address hidden but if you're doing several domain names, and which is my case, it's easier just to set up one, uh, one email address devoted to registering domain names uh, you, you can go either way on this, but I'm just pointing that out. Again, there's more information on this subject of forwarding domain names on the track2.com forwarding domain names page. Okay, here we are looking at the uh, home page for godaddy.com. Uh, this is where I typically would send people for uh, forwarding domain names. Uh, I don't know if we can get this large enough to see it or not, but we'll try. Uh, there's a window right here that the camera is looking on, and this is called the main name search. And you basically type in the domain name uh, you're interested in having. Uh, in this case, I'm going to type in uh, ballroomdances.net. It's defaulted to .com, so what, what you're telling this search window is I want to I want to check on a uh, a domain name called ballroomdances.net with the extension .com and you click the go button over here and it'll search and tell you if that domain name's available or not. Uh, in this case, it shouldn't be because I've got it all registered. But uh, in this case, it what it's telling you is that the uh, the dot the dot com the dot net the dot info and the dot org are already taken, but it's saying the dot biz extension is available and the dot uh, mob extension is available. So it'll tell you what extensions of that domain name are available and what are taken. Uh, and also down below, it'll it'll give you additional domains. In this area, there's a whole bunch of them listed uh, that are similar, so it'll give you similar suggestions. 
and if you want to uh, register it, if you want to search on another domain name, you just type in a new domain name here, and again click on the search button, and away you go. If you want to register it, you have to create a user ID, very similar to creating a, a Yahoo ID or something like that. You create a user ID and a password, and then you go ahead and register your domain name. Uh, you go through a bunch of steps, and you need a credit card to do it online, but it's all automatic. You can do it 24 hours a day, register it, uh, and it should cost you $9 when you're done. And then you can log in again and forward that domain name to wherever wherever you want. Uh, like, like in the cases of ballroomdances.net, I've got it forwarded to, to uh, track2.com uh, slash dance slash index.html or something like that. Here we are looking at the track2.com homepage again, uh, and again if you can find the cursor, there's an entry called forwarding domain names, and right below that where the cursor is, there's a link called info. Uh, we'll zoom in a little bit here, see if that helps. You can see where it says forwarding domain names, there's a link called info there, and clicking that will take you to more information on forwarding domain names, basically expanding on what I've been trying to tell here in this video.